what it tastes like like sweet it's a very subtle sweetness it's, it's really good I don't actually like it I can see why it's simple it's very minimal see how minimal it is it's not like overpowering like sugar mm. yeah that's good impressions it reminds me a lot of Florence Italy but like more of a Spanish vibe um, and then also a mixture of San Francisco with it like they even have the San Francisco bridge that looks similar um, but it's absolutely beautiful and I love it so much already but I'm excited to try like Portuguese food tonight it's like seafood based so I think that's gonna be delicious um, but yeah, we had a really fun day exploring around. We did one of those like touristy things where you get in the little car and they drive you around, which I think that was a really good idea because we saw so many good views, um, which is all the content I got um, for the day. But yeah, anyway, I'm excited to explore more. Tomorrow we're gonna actually drive across the bridge and explore other parts of the city. And then on Monday, we fly to the island nearby, so super excited but um yeah i'll definitely show you guys more um as we keep exploring but the weather too is like not super hot but warm enough where when you're in the sun you feel like really good but i remember when we traveled in italy last year it was so hot like unbearably hot um so i'm like really happy with this weather it's like 70 and perfect but anyway i just want to check in with you guys say hello and um I'll show you guys more as we explore more. So you live in the dream You should see it through someone else's side Now 
just had dinner and we got to try 22? Yeah. Well, 22 dishes. And it was really filling and I had wine for the first time in like three weeks, so I am a little tipsy. minutes out from the Lisbon like downtown area we're gonna explore some like new beaches and there's like a palace and just some really cool stuff to look at so we're gonna go there I'm gonna be honest I did not sleep amazing I like woke up at like three o'clock and I felt wide awake I think the jet lag and all that's getting to me a little bit um, and I woke up like breaking out so feeling I know it's gonna get better, but I feel a little off today. Um, but we stopped and got some breakfast and coffee. This coffee is very, very unique. Um, it has like a tangy like taste to it, but it's waking me up. So we're gonna go explore. Yeah, I'm excited that we're here. But anyway, I will take you guys with us today. because I know I didn't do a room tour yet. So I thought I'd show you what it looks like now that the um, maid came and made the bed and it looks a little cleaner. Um, so basically you walk through here and there's these little steps and this nice bed, it's honestly so comfortable. Um, and then we have just like a little area here. But the nice part is we do have a view of the water and if you look out, so nice you can like open the windows and stuff um and we have like a little closet little luggage area and then the bathroom and yeah i just wanted to show you guys what it looked like because it's pretty cute really comfortable and it's in like such a great location like we're close to most everything that we're walking to today we did drive and we tried to go to this castle but Unfortunately, you have to buy tickets ahead of time and we didn't know that so we weren't able to go in it But we saw it so I did take some video of that, but I'm gonna get comfortable I want to just wear like super comfy clothes. We're gonna go to this little market This food market that they have here where they personally pick like the different um, Vendors that can be in there and I yesterday I saw this lady eating like this amazing looking cheese board and I was like I want to get that today so I think we're gonna go do that it's only like two o'clock so we still have a good amount of the day left tomorrow evening we are flying to Madeira which is like a little island it's like a two-hour flight from here um, but supposedly it is like the Hawaii of Europe so I'm so excited um, I'll probably start a new vlog for that but we still have a lot of today so just wanted to check in I'm gonna get cozy um, this was my outfit today I wore my little Nike blazers I had the white um, version of this on but this one's a little thicker and I'm not gonna lie it was a little cold when the wind comes and it's like really long but super comfortable and then I wore a little headscarf so I'm gonna get comfortable now and I'll take you guys with us wherever we go Okay, I really wanted to show you guys because I think it's interesting to hear about how people work on the go or how, you know, how to get work done when you're abroad or anywhere else. So I'm currently, I have a swimsuit on. I know it looks like I'm not wearing pants, but I have a swimsuit on. Um, but I'm currently editing my YouTube video. 
which I'm putting up right now. I literally thought it was Saturday. It's Sunday, which means it's Sunday, most likely for most of my audience. I probably just turned Sunday morning. So I'm trying to get this vlog done and up before we go have a night out. Um, so yeah, this is kind of what it looks like me just sitting here on the bed, just trying to get this done. Um, so I wanted to like show you guys what I'm working on. And then last night when we, we got back to the room at like eight and I worked from like eight to 10 on just like client things, emails, proposals, all that kind of stuff. So I'm trying to, trying to stay on top of it so I don't go back home and feel like I have nothing done. Um, so that's what we're doing. But this literally hurts so bad. I never like break out here, but it is the most painful thing. It hurts so bad, but anyway, I'm gonna get my video done. tonight we're actually flying to the island of Madeira which is like two like an hour and 30 minutes away from Lisbon so we're super excited because we've heard that it is like the Hawaii of Europe it's supposed to be beautiful I think it's gonna be a little chilly there because we're in spring not summer yet but I'm hoping it'll be nice and sunny so we can like use the pool and like just relax and wind down before we head home so we have like three more days three and a half more days in total of our trip so I'm so excited but I think like I said before I'm gonna separate them from like Lisbon to um Madeira vlogs so um we still have a few more hours here so I was gonna take you guys because we're gonna drive across that the red bridge which I just found out I was reading about it it is called the 25 de abril bridge so hopefully i said that right but we're gonna drive across there right now um hopefully hang out around on the other side of the bridge i want to see like what the homes look like here because i'm just so curious on like what it's like to actually live here um so we're gonna head across the bridge and hang on 
and stuff. So I'll take you guys with us.